ready for me at Target. So let's go pick it up. And then I think I might also stop by Michael's and pick up some craft pumpkins. So uh, let's get going. This is my favorite shopping center because we have Bath Mighty Works, Michael's, Ross, and TJ Maxx. So today we are searching for things for my Halloween girls night party. So I am throwing a little girls night with some friends, just about six or seven girls, and we will be doing some pumpkin painting and eating Halloween treats and just having a grand old time. So I am looking for some items that I could use to display on the table, maybe some like silverware and like plateware items. And I'm also going to get us all some craft pumpkins that we can paint and that way we can use them for years and years instead of using a real pumpkin, which will just rot within the years. So you have to throw it away. So that's what I'm looking for at Michael's. And then of course, we'll check out Ross and TJ Maxx. next day and I have the haul to share with you guys. First off, I'm going to start off with Target. So I wanted a few things for outside because we've never had a patio or anything to decorate. So the first thing I picked up, look how cute is this jack-o'-lantern and he's huge. He was 30 bucks from Target and it is battery operated, which I've, I don't know, I guess I've never bought these, but I always remember them being plug-in. So that's kind of weird, but yeah, I already put batteries in him. He lights up. He's really cute and so I want to put him on our porch and I like that he's kind of cutesy and not like scary looking um and then I also got a wreath for the front door I wanted to get one that would be fall and Halloween appropriate because we are hosting Thanksgiving too but I don't know you guys will have to let me know what you think of this one it was $30 from Magnolia oh sorry it was $30 from Threshold um I don't know you guys will have to tell me what you think because I saw some at Michael's that were really cute and half off and were prettier than this and had more going on. But I like that this is simple. Is it too simple? And I also don't know if I like that it's red. So you guys will have to let me know on that. And then I picked up a few party items from Target. So I did already pick up some things for the party at Walmart, which I'll show you guys later, but I picked up a few more plates and bowls. So I picked up these 10 inch plates, 24 count. I think it's just like $5. And then I also picked up these little bowls with ghosties on them. And this is a 20 count. And then I picked up something to cover the bar. So Ryan made a good point. I bought a tablecloth from the Dollar Tree to go over our actual like dining room table, but I'm gonna put this one on top of the bar and this one has little bats on it. And I think it was a dollar, so really good price. And then I bought this little creepy cloth in black to go on top and I can use this to decorate with later. So I thought that was really cute. This was $5. I didn't really realize that this was $5, but that's kind of a lot, so. And then of course I showed you guys him. I really just wanted a skeleton and I didn't want a full size one. So I got this little guy, he was 15 and he is the posable skeleton and he could be used outdoor as well. So I liked him because you could pose him and he would stay there. So I think I'm gonna have him holding like a little pumpkin in his hands or something and his mouth moves too. So I could even have him like eating a gummy worm or something, that would be really funny. But I wanna sit him inside, um, probably near the food or something, just looking like super cute. So I thought that was really fun. And then of course, what's a Halloween party without candy? So I picked up some Reese's. These are, and I, yes, I say Reese's, not Reese's. I don't know why, okay, I'm from Texas. <laughs> These are the pumpkins, bats, and ghosts. And then I also picked up this 75 pack of candy and it has Twizzlers, gummy bears, lollipops, Hershey's, Reese's cups, and Kit Kats. I also picked up a little treat bucket to put all the candy in and then we can also use this for trick-or-treaters. And this was only a dollar. I thought that was a great deal. 
So that's everything from Target. And then the kind of purpose of this party is like a paint and sip kind of. So I did pick up some craft pumpkins. I picked up some small ones and some big ones. I wish they had the white ones and the small. I think this is such a cute size. And these were on sale for $5. So that's really good. And these I think were 10. So I got half and half, I think. So that way the girls can kind of choose whatever they want. And then of course I got myself a little sticker book because I thought it was so cute. And this was $1.99. So I'll be using this for my planner. And it's got little groovy ghosts and stuff and little skulls, candy corns, jack lanterns, just lots of cute things I thought would be really fun for my planner for this month. And then I got a couple of candlesticks just because I needed some and I haven't been able to find them wherever I'm, I've been searching. And then the last thing that I picked up from Ross, actually Ross had some really good finds, was a doormat and it's a little candy corn one and I'll insert a video of what it looks like, but I picked up this doormat like little plaid runner to go underneath it a couple months ago, probably in like July from at home and it fits so perfectly. It was exactly what I was envisioning in my head and I love that it all came together. So this candy corn one was only $8.99 from Ross. Thank you, Ross. You always have the best finds. So I loved that so much. And then for something fun for the party, I did pick up some glowing ice cubes. So let's watch them. So cool, look how awesome. This is just like a little beaker cup from Pim's Particles Test Lab from Disneyland. So I thought that was awesome. Came in a 24 pack from Amazon and I think it was like 16 bucks. So I wish you could change the color to just stay one color because I'm not sure I love that it's flashing, but I guess it'll just have to do because it was like the fastest thing to ship to me. So anyways, that is everything for the little haul. Next, I am going to start decorating and getting things together and I'll show you guys the rest of the party materials that I have collected over the past couple of weeks and we will just get to decorating and preparing for the party. Mm -hmm.